Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2016 and episode 57 of The Journeyman with Liverpool and it could be the final one today. We have two very, very important matches coming up and the first one is against West Ham and before we get into things we have to have a look at the last few matches since the last episode which was the Capital One Cup final against Watford and as you can see we've had a lot of wins and a couple of draws in the Premier League, a horrible defeat by Chelsea in the Cup, but a blessing in disguise because it means we are first in the Premier League table. If we win today, we could potentially win the title. And that's unbelievable because last season we weren't even in the Premier League, we were in the Championship. We won the Championship brilliantly. And this year we've carried on the momentum and we could achieve something that I'm pretty sure has probably never happened before. Promotion from the second division and winning the first division at our first attempt. We have two chances at winning this. We have to win today. Man City have come roaring back the last few weeks. If we have a look at their past positions, they were fifth for a long time, but the last couple of rounds they have been brilliant and have got back into second position. Arsenal and Chelsea still in the title race as well. It's going to be a real crazy one. Let's have a look at squad performances. Top goal scorer is still Deba, 36 from 35, 33 for Pizzono from 39 appearances, 14 from Capaccioli. Top assists is of course Michael Hassan, but 10 from Deba, 9 from Pizzono. Top average rating 8.01 from Jean Claude G Deba. And well, wouldn't this be a great way to go out in the journey, man? Uh, I wasn't planning to end it this season, but if we do win the title, there's not much else to achieve, and we'll talk about that at the end of the episode. But we've got to get down to business now, and let's have a look at the team for today. Uh, so Amadi in goal, Calabria, Doctora, Fir Firicano, and Sinisa in defence. We've got Hassan, Monopoly, Dragomir, Ox all in midfield and Deba and Pizzano will start up front. Let's get into things, let's hope we can win against West Ham. They are pretty low down in the league but they're still battling relegation so it's a big match for both of us but hopefully the players can come through. We've only lost three times this season, let's not make it a fourth and come on Liverpool, let's make this perhaps one of the greatest achievements in my football manager history. Oh, Pizzono gets us off to the perfect start. Daniel Pizzono sticks us 1-0 ahead. And now we're five points clear. And this is our chance. Ox into the middle and Pizzono smashes it home. How are Manchester City doing? Where? They're playing Tottenham today. So tough away fixture for them. Hassan. Oh yes. 2-0. Philip Ox sticks it in the back of the net. And we are 2-0 up. Unbelievable. And Michael Hassan. Another assist for him. Absolutely brilliant player. And he's still only about 22 I think. Is it going to be three? Ox. Monopoly. Dragomir. Oh. Just wide. And it looks like Man City are losing because we're six points clear now. Sinisa. Oh, Pizzano. I beg your pardon, Arsenal and Chelsea are not in the race anymore. Um, which is great news for us. I thought they won the same amount of games as us, but they're not. So it's only Man City and they're losing at the minute. Uh, Gimenez or Jimenez uh, penalty in the seventh minute. Oh, but Man City have literally just equalised. So they're keeping us honest at the moment and they've got a much better goal difference. And we've got Chelsea in the last game away from home, which is going to be a tough one. So we want to try and get it out of the way today. And the only way we're going to do that is if Man City get beat oh, or draw. And the two ways that we can do it. So Pizzono through Diva, good save by Hara. Monopoly into the middle. Oh, Calabria. Hmm. Your card for Gruez or Wilcock. Or Willock, I think it was actually. Pronouncing people's names wrong. Sinisa, Pizzono, Ox, Monopoly, 
Hassan into the middle and yes, Pizzano makes it 3-0, surely that is our job done. It is in the hands of Tottenham now to help us. They're all the way down in 13th place, remember. We absolutely battered them at, at, at away from home um, a few matches ago. I think it was 4-1, which was unbelievable really against Tottenham side who finished second in the Premier League last year. But what a first half for us. 3-0. This is what we're talking about. This is what it's come down to. And these 11 players have just been the best recently. I mean, Monopoly and Dragomir are keeping out Mirko and Van Dijk at the moment. That is how good they're playing. And, you know, it's, it's great to see. Um, obviously, the draw against Brentford, I think it was, could prove crucial because we dropped two points there. Diva Pizzano gets his hat-trick and his 36th goal of the season. He draws level with Jean-Claude Diba now. But Diba, another assist for him, passing it across and Pizzano smashing it into the back of the net. It is 4-0 and we are walking away with this match and we have definitely done our job. <clears throat> That's forward to Paris, good tackle by Firicano. Away by Doctora, Hara. Oh, and here's Paris, 4-1. Oh, that is one thing I'd like more of, clean sheets. But uh, it doesn't really matter when you're this far ahead. Uh, we're going to make a change, we're going to bring Diva off. Got three assists this match, unbelievable. Dragomir is going to come off as well, bring Van Dijk on. Trying to keep the team as fresh as possible for Saturday. <clears throat> Good tackle by Sinisa, now Diva. Hassan, all the way forward to Diba. Oh, Dragomir, well wide. And Tottenham 2 1 ahead. With about half an hour to go. I mean, they've been 2 1 ahead for a while, but I've only just noticed that. So, <clears throat> Tottenham doing us a big favour. Capriccioli over the bar. Things are looking good. Danilo plays for um, Man City now. We we had him at Valencia, I remember. Uh, bring Eric Dyer on. Give uh, Doctor a rest. We want the strongest possible team for the match against Chelsea. But is it going to matter? 3-1 Tottenham now. Harry Kane scoring what could be his final goal for Tottenham. He is 33 years old and his contract does run out at the end of the season. Monopoly, Hassan, Van Dijk, Monopoly, Hassan, Van Dijk, Pizzano. Fourth goal for Daniel Pizzano and it's now 5-1. We are winning this title in style. I don't think Man City are going to come back now. They need three goals in this last ten minutes. And we have absolutely dominated this game against West Ham. And we are going to do the unthinkable. Win the championship and then win the Premier League the season after. Oh. This has to be the greatest achievement I've ever had on Football Manager. Winning Liverpool's first league title since 1990. But not in the circumstances that most people would have won it with Liverpool. Liverpool were a championship team last season. We've brought them out of the dumps and we have won the Premier League title. What an achievement. On a fine spring evening at the Olympic Stadium, Liverpool celebrate clinching the Barclays Premier League title. We've done the double. We obviously won the Capital One Cup earlier this year and we've won more trophies now um, Liverpool fans in a mood to celebrate I should think so we've won that and they're very very happy uh, Coutinho in disbelief we're hoping to get him back actually at the end of the season um, Monopoly praises me for the title win but, oh, I just can't believe it oh we're not going to bother doing this but there we go 5-1 in that match and 
Well, I'm I'm not going to show the Chelsea game on camera. Um, I'm going to play that, and I'll see you guys as soon as we've done that. And we'll do a season review and talk about the future of this save. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Right, guys, that is that. Chelsea beat us in the last game, but who cares? We acquitted ourselves quite well. Just a couple of late goals cost us. But here's some awards to tell you about. Deba, Jean-Claude Deba won Football of the Year. Uh, 23 goals in 31 games with an average rating of 7.95. Thoroughly deserved. Michael Hassan has won the Young Player of the Year, 21 years of age. 32 games, 1 goal, 7.63 average rating. But um, 14 assists in those games as well. And we won Manager of the Year. For some reason it says 37 matches. I have no idea why. I'm sure that's the second time that's happened in this series. Maybe the Leicester one as well. Um, win ratio 64%. Manager points 13,128. So that is how the Barclays Premier League table finished. Derby County, Sheffield and Aston Villa got relegated unfortunately for them. Um, but we won the league. We won the league. Let's just have a look at the team stats. Um, we had the most goals in the league, which was pretty cool. Uh, we had probably one of the lowest net transfer spends. We did, in fact, have the lowest, which is crazy considering we won. Uh, biggest average possession, which is good. Um, and the average attendance should be fairly high, uh, 48,000. Um, but yeah, most goals, best at hitting the target, 48% on that, and most passes completed, most average um, possession, which is great. Player overview, um, top goal scorers, Pizzano and Diva, right up there, third and fourth, top assists, um, was perhaps, I don't think it was, it was Raheem Sterling with 18. Uh, top average rating though, John claude Diva, 7.95, great to see. And yeah, that is going to be that, really. Um, are we going to end the series here? Well, that is up to you guys. Of course, I've got a brand new series on the channel, The Bolton Battle, continuing Lelujo FM's uh, save and seeing if we can get Bolton Wanderers to their highest ever Premier League position. And that will be sort of taken over as the main series unless you guys want another season do you want us to stay at liverpool do you want us to move on to another one uh, another team and uh, i mean we can have a look at some of the jobs available uh, obviously the the probably not all there yet but there they are there so if you if you have a look at those see which ones you like and uh, there's none i'm really you know wanting to take from that list of <laughs> Bolton Wanderers funnily, funnily enough are there um, but let us know let us know and you have to let us know in the comments section otherwise I can't know what you're thinking um, just looking at the job security is there anybody that could be going soon that we might be interested in possibly Man United but that's in England uh, Dortmund is, is there as well um, so let us know uh, if you don't want to see this, obviously there will be another uh, save on the channel. But I feel like I've achieved everything I could possibly achieve. And there will be one more video on this uh, save, which will be a bit of a roundup of everything that's happened so far. And, well, if we're continuing, we won't do that video. But if we're not, then I'll do that in the coming days. So, um, let us know your opinions down below. And let's see if we're a legend yet I don't think we will be no uh, there we are favoured personnel behind Anthony, Antonio Doctora well there you have it guys so I hope you've enjoyed this episode please leave a like down below if you did you don't have to of course but me love for me and for the channel and I hope you guys have a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye